In today's video, we are taking a look at some Pokemon cards that are absolutely on fire, on the move, moving up, seeing great gains. First, we're just going to touch on the Greninja real quick. Um, this isn't really one of the cards I super wanted to focus on, but we're just going to touch on it real quick. A few interesting developments. Uh, on TCG Player, we have cracked $300 on the Greninja. So to those of you who own the Greninja, my hat is off to you. However, there's a caveat there. Uh, if we look on eBay, I'm not really seeing, I'm seeing 220, uh, 275 crossed out, 275 crossed out, 250 crossed out, 260 for a nine, like 250. So we're not seeing that $300 on eBay. Also, um, unfortunately for Twilight, um, the uh, Eevee is down 13%. Uh, it's still up pretty big. Uh, on the three-month chart, but it's it's just on the decline. Just wanted to touch on that. Uh, finally, seeing that card come down. Then uh, we're gonna move over to Temporal Forces here, and this is uh, a card that I touched on a few months ago, and I said that this would this uh, is a good IR. Uh, Temporal Forces has some good IRs. Paradox has some good IRs, as you're gonna see. And I thought that uh, Litten, that this was a really adorable card, and I thought it had potential. I thought it was too cheap. Uh, we made a video on it, um, yeah, it was a few months ago now. But up 40% on the one-month chart. 77% on the three-month chart, just steadily from a $3 card up to a $7 card. 77.4% for Litten, for near mint on TCG Player, so... That is cool. Good to see. Still not very expensive, but uh, good to see that that card is moving up. Next, another card that I touched on, uh, I believe in that same video, talking about underrated IRs and Metagross from Temporal Forces. On the three-month chart, up 87%. It was at one point right here up 95%. It's retraced a little bit. And on the one month, it's only up 2.8%. But I just wanted to touch on this real quick. Could have picked this up for around 5 bucks. Um you know, back before I made the video, or when I made the video, I think we were in here somewhere. Um, might have been, might have been at just cracked six, maybe. I think it was in the fives though. Um, so double check, hold me to that. But um, yeah, we're even seeing a sale right here uh, for over eleven dollars. So um, interesting gains there. Then another card that I touched on. Uh, this was kind of an easy one in my opinion. Uh, it's pretty. This artwork is great. This Arbok, um, beautiful card. Uh, same thing though, underrated IR. Um, we saw it go from high threes to in the sixes. Not a big dollar gain, but percentage wise, 60%. However, this one currently is on a little bit of a retrace, uh, down 8% on the one month chart, but the three month chart is looking real good. So I uh, can't really complain there with the Arbok showing some big gains. Now, I did talk about this card as well. Um, in, in, I don't know if it was in that IR video or in a separate one, um, not the most popular Pokemon, but artwork wise, I thought this was a very cool looking, um, Shiftry, one month chart, 21%, three month chart, 65%, you guys could pick this up for two bucks, so very interesting, and now it's over, uh, it's over four dollars now with, but we're seeing sales right here at six dollars, five ninety nine. So shift tree is on the move. So it's nice to see, uh, you know, a lot of these bigger cards are on their way down right now or kind of just staying level. Nothing wrong with that, but it does excite me. And it's nice to see when some other cards are getting some attention, right? People are, uh, seems like people are shifting their attention to some of the lesser cards, scooping some of those up while they are available. And uh, yeah, it's, it's interesting to see. Next up, we're going to look at some Paldea cards. I uh, just want to touch on the booster box real quick. It's just steadily, just like chugging along up this uh, this incline. 15% on the three-month chart, 6.5% on the one-month. The booster boxes are just chugging. It's a great set. Uh, lots of good IRs in Paldea as well. Uh, 137 has been the sales all around there, but listed medium price is 140 so... Uh, expect these boxes to crack 140 soon, which is very interesting because then they're getting close to MSRP, which MSRP is 160 for the new uh, Scarlet Violet era, but that will be very interesting to see. Then we have the Raichu. Uh, this has been a very talked about card. It's not a secret, but I just wanted to touch on the one month chart. It, we got almost 18% movement on the one month chart, right? We knew, we knew this card was good. 48% on three month, 
we knew that this card was good. Um, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful card. It's not really a surprise to see this card performing well, but uh, yeah, eighteen percent movement there. Looks like this this guy's about to crack fifty dollars, um, which would be interesting. Good for good for Raichu. Very exciting stuff. Then uh, this is just a little bit of a lesser gain here. The uh, Chen Pao from Paldea. Uh, on the one month, 5.8%, so that's nothing to uh, sneeze at. On the three month, it's it's down a little, so we're on the we're on a little bit of an uptick. Um, not as popular, but you know the, these new legendaries. We don't want to underestimate and sleep on these new legendaries. The it's something that I've said before, and I'll say I'll just keep saying it. Kids are growing up on these new Pokemon, okay? So just keep that in mind that this could be um, this is somebody's Zapdos, somebody's Articuno. Okay, these kids are growing up with these Pokemon, so it, it's a little different. Then, the Heracross from Paldea, eighty-four uh, percent on the three-month, and we're still doing work. Six point eight percent on the one-month chart. Seeing great moves out of Heracross. Uh, this was another card we touched on a long time ago. One of my, uh, maybe not my favorite, but one of the Pokemon I really like from Gen 2. So um, nice to see Heracross getting some love there. It's kind of like the Pseudo-Wudo card where they're just kind of standing there. But um, very interesting uh, just to see some of the percentage gains are just crazy sometimes. And a lot of these cards, you know, aren't really getting a ton of attention. So sometimes these go under the radar. Um, not all of them, obviously like the Raichu and stuff, but uh, I just wanted to touch on some of them, make you guys aware. I'm not saying to um, run out and buy buy these immediately, but uh, it is important to know uh, what cards are moving in the market, right? So you can um, make informed decisions. Maybe your LGS has some of these, um, and you're looking at picking them up. Maybe you're going to trade a buddy, um, you know, eBay prices, Mercari. There's so many places. Um, just important to note, like, also, some places don't update their prices all the time, so um, if, if we're seeing movement, maybe you can, you'd be like, oh, I saw that card somewhere. Let me go see if it's still at a good price. So that that's why we're that's why I do these videos. Next, we're going to touch on a few Paradox Rift cards. Um, the booster boxes are not really moving. They're sub one hundred ninety eight dollars on the one month. They're actually down. Um, they were over a hundred. Now we're down into the. $90 range, um, which is a bit unfortunate, and I'm going to tell you guys why. So, um, this is like the second or third page, and this is page two of Paradox, and what I noticed when I started looking at this, and I've said it before, Paradox, the IRs are deep. There's a lot, and there are a lot of really good ones, so I think that Paradox is a really undervalued set, and this Magby same thing, I touched on it in that IR video uh, a few months ago, but the Magby is absolutely adorable and just a great looking card. Pre-evolution of a Gen 1 Pokemon, so got some popularity there, but 19.7% uh, on the three month chart. Once again, not the these aren't necessarily, a lot of these are the most highest dollar cards. And as you can see, we're down almost 7% on the one month, so. Um, retracing a little bit, but it's just good to know that um, a lot of the cards that we've touched on are seeing some movement, and it's good to follow up on these things, right? Uh, another one here that has some some pretty good movement is the Porygon Z uh, evolution of a Gen 1 Pokemon, right? So we've got some Gen 1 popularity, not the most popular, but 17% on the three month, and pretty flat on the one month, but nice to see, uh, you know, Nice to see Porygon getting a little bit of love, if I'm being completely honest. And I do think that this is just a cool looking card. You start looking at the background and everything that's going on, and I think it's a very cool card. So, um, not for everybody, but seeing some good, move, some good movement there. It's in the $5 range now, so that's nice to see. Um, then we have a couple of little sleepers here. Um, one, you're, you're, you're reading this correct. 121%. Uh, uptick here. We're in the $14, but look at this. We have a sale at $16. So uh, these are on the rise. So very interesting. Um, I did just pull one of these. I can't remember which one. Um, so that is cool. But um, big moves there. And look at the one month chart 69% on the one month. 
Um, we talked. We've talked about these cards before as well. I said that they were adorable and cute, and the cards don't have to be um, menacing or like cool to be uh, valued and appreciated. They can just be adorable, and that's kind of been what's happening a lot with the Scarlet Violet era. I'm not really complaining. I like the adorable ones too. I, I like the cooler, more serious ones probably better, but there's nothing wrong with some adorable cards. And these ones are like a little set that go together, and they're, yeah, absolutely adorable. Uh, three month chart for uh, for this guy right here, 39%, 21.5 on the one month. So big time movers. And like, look at this last sale at 17.92. So uh, very interesting what is going on there um there is a lot of listings still available so um yeah just good to see um some of these cards getting some of the attention that i think they deserve because sometimes what can be frustrating is taking a look or you pull a card or you buy it and you you start to take a look at it and you go oh my gosh you start to really appreciate the artwork you know this is this is a really nice card i really like this and then you go, you look up the price, you go, what, what is this card worth? And you get on TCG Player or eBay or wherever, and you're like, oh, it's $2. <laughs> and uh, you're like, dang, how is this $2? This is a really cool card. So uh, it's nice to see some of those lower end cards getting some of the credit that they deserve. Okay. And that is going to do it for this video, guys. I just wanted to kind of just do a little update on uh, some of the cards that I noticed that have been moving. I like checking in on some of the big percentage gainers and um you know so we, we touched on some popular cards from the greninja and the eevee down to some paradox irs we got some temporal irs um just to make you guys aware so it, um if you guys weren't aware that those cards were moving now you are um it also is fun to it makes you look at different sets you go back and you you go uh start looking at other sets even back to sword and shield and you start going to the second page and the third page on some of them most sets it's only on the second page Paradox is deep. You could go three pages deep and you're starting to see uh, good cards still. But you start to start to look at some of those sleepers, right? And we have a lot of them. There's still a lot of them out there. Um, but yeah, that is going to do it for this one, guys. I just wanted to touch on that. And also, if you uh, guys have not entered the giveaway, um, I will have a link in the description for the giveaway. Uh, we'll be giving away... There's three winners, three prizes... Japanese 151 booster box. We got uh, a PSA 10 of your choice. I'm going to give you like five different options. Trying to aim for at least $50 of value. Um, we'll have a little bit of a range, maybe between $50 and $60 value there um, for one winner. And then the last one's going to get um, a few sleeved boosters shipped to them. Um, so if you want to enter that, um, you have to go to the link down below. It's to another video, and you guys can enter there. But that is going to do it for this one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.